Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. This is Saiful Alam, assistant teacher of English, Maskana Secondary School, Shatkira, Shadur Shatkira. Uh, uh, in the last class, uh, we discussed a topic. Uh, I think you can remember it. Uh, let me ask you some question on it. Okay. Uh, let me write on the board so that you can remember. Uh, I need a pen. He is an honest person. The sun rises in the east. So, my dear students, uh, can you remember the topic we discussed in the last class? Yes, thank you very much. We discussed articles. Very good. Articles. Okay, let me ask you some uh, some question on it. Can you tell me how many vowels are there we discussed uh, uh, in the last class? How many vowels? There are how many vowels? There are five vowels. Very good. There are five vowels. What are they? Uh, five vowels. Five vowels. Five vowels. They are A, E, I, O, and U. Very good. Thank you. And how many articles are there? How many articles are there? There are two types of article very good very good uh, two types of article yes they are definite article and indefinite article very good okay uh, in the last class we learned that uh, any vowel sound as for example honest takes an an okay on the other hand consonant sound takes Ah, if it is singular, okay. Uh, so let us discuss something more about it, okay. Okay. Okay, but students, open your copy so that you can write. Uh, she is university student. Okay. Number two, uh, I bought ice cream. For my mother. Number three, Iron is a useful metal. Okay. Number four. So uh, everybody, uh, look at the board and try to write down the sentences so that you can solve. Okay. Number four.
and is industrious insect. Okay, number five. You, fill, you will fill in blanks with uh, articles, okay? Certainly. He is first boy in class. Okay. Okay, my dear students, now uh, try to write it down. Okay. I think, you, I think you can. You can do it. I think you can do it. The last class we learned that yes yes can you tell me the answer of the first question yes it takes a uh, bought an ice cream right okay that's uh, the and uh, and the in the class okay okay my dear students let me discuss it so in the last class we learned that uh, vowel sound takes an but look look here look here uh, though it is a vowel sound it takes a why no please uh, if a note if a uh, word starts with vowel sound but pronounced as U or Wa. We use A, ah, okay, in this case. So, she is a university student. You see, look at the, look at the word, university. So, it uh, pronounced like U. So, it's like U. So that's why we used a, uh, okay. And uh, uh, wa sound. If we, if we, if I write uh, number six, uh, this is a uh, one taka note. Okay. So look at the look at the sentence. This is though it is a vowel sound, it takes a. Uh, why? Why? Because it, it uh, starts with wa sound. You see, wa, wa, one taka note. Okay, that's why it is. It takes a. Uh, uh, like last class, um, so it starts with vowel sound and it is singular. You can count it. So it is. It takes an n. Okay. On the other hand, you see useful. So you like you. That's why you used a the because it uh, it means uh, uh, class okay common common noun so before common noun use the uh, so it is vowel sound that's why it is an and so it is the so it is the cardinal ordinal number first second third fourth that's why it is the uh, and the class is Known known context that's why you use that here, okay. So 
my dear students let's move to the <coughs> use of definite article okay so we have learned uh, the definite article and some sort some amount of some sort of um, definite article now let's move to the use of the use of the okay so why we use the okay uh, we have to uh, understand the context we have to know some context so that we can uh, use it properly uh, okay so let us discuss uh, number one can you tell me uh, uh, Padda, Meghna, Jomuna, what are they? yes they are the names of rivers very good so name of a river name of a river we use as for example, the or the the Meghna. Okay. Uh, <coughs> so <coughs> let me ask you another question. Can you tell me? Uh, uh, the Prothomalo, the Jugantar, so the Daily Star, the New Age, the Independent, what are they? So they are the names of, can you guess? Yes, name of newspaper, okay, newspaper. So name of newspaper takes the, okay, <coughs> the Daily Star. Okay. The Daily Star, the fourth one, number three. <clears throat> uh, how many degrees are there? Can you tell me? There are three types of degree yes it deals with adjective or comparison of comparison of adjectives okay so uh, three types of degree uh, positive comparative and superlative superlative uh, degree uh, denotes or means the highest quality of something okay so when we are using uh, superlative degree as for example we use the okay. superlative degree Super lady degree. So, as for example, she is the best girl, okay, best girl in the class. In the class, okay. So, you see, uh, best is the superlative form of, of what. That's a good, okay, better, and superlative form is the best, okay. So look at the form, positive, comparative, and superlative. So this is the superlative form. That's why it takes the, okay. She's the best girl in the class, okay. Number four. Uh, Holly book, sorry, Holly, Holly books, Holly books, as for example, uh, the Bible, the Quran, 
Okay. So we use uh, da before them. Okay. The Holy, the Bible, the Quran, the Trippy Talk, hmm, the Quran. Okay. The Okay, before holy books, we use the. <clears throat> Number five. <clears throat> Number five. Uh, ordinal number. Ordinal, ordinal number. Ordinal number. Okay. As for example, we use uh, the. First chapter the second boy. Okay. So in this in this case we use the uh, so we today do we discussed a uh, name of rivers for the Meghna, Jomuna, Dhaleshwari. Okay, there are a lot of rivers in Bangladesh and uh, there are many rivers in the world also. The Rhine. Uh, okay. The Nile. These are the rivers. Uh, the, the Ganga. The Brahmaputra. Okay. So these are the names of rivers. Okay. So name of the newspaper. So Daily Star. Uh, there are many newspapers in Bangladesh. And one of the uh, famous uh, newspapers of the uh, of England is the Guardian. Also, okay. So whenever we are using the name of newspaper, so we use the. Okay. Superlative form, she is the best girl, okay. The holy books, the Bible, the Quran, ordinal number, okay. Next, number six. Number six. Only one in the world. The sun, the moon, okay, number seven. Repeat. Repetition of anything, anything. As for example, <clears throat> I saw a snake in the garden. The snake. Uh, was poisonous. Okay. <clears throat> look at the look at the sentence. Sent, look at the sent, those sentences carefully. When we mention something countable for the first time, I saw a snake in the garden. Okay. For the first time, I mentioning a snake. So that's why we used a. Ah. But when we repeat the noun, we use the, you see? So when repeating again and again, we are writing or using the same thing. So we are using the, okay. Uh, Name of some countries. <clears throat> some countries. 
some countries as for example the USR, the UK, okay? USA, UK. Okay. Why uh, we use the here? You see, uh, if I write the elaboration of the full form of USA or UK, you see, USA. So this is U. Just a minute. United States of America. Okay, so United States of America. You see, United is an adjective. Okay, that's why it takes the here. Okay, like it is also, you see, UK, the full form in UK is United Kingdom. Kingdom. Look at the word also. If uh, 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 if any word, uh, any name of a country consists consists of the word kingdom, so the name of the country starts with the also. Okay, so I think you have understood. Uh, <clears throat> Famous building. Famous building. As for example, the Taj Mahal. Okay. Taj Mahal, the Empire State Building. Okay. In this case, we use uh, famous building, you can see the Statue of Liberty. Okay, uh, number number ten. The more, da, 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 da more. Okay. Uh, if we find any uh, sentence construction, something like that, the more, the more. As for example, the more you read. You read the more you will learn. Okay, so look at the sentence construction the more you read, the more you learn. Okay, so in this case, we use the also number 11. Number 11, um, historical event, historical event, okay, historical event as for example, the war of independence. Okay. The language movement. Movement. Etc. Okay. So, my dear students, uh, now I'd like to give you some homework for you. Uh, okay.